Hello everyone, I'm Arpit from Czech Tutors. I'm a tutor at Czech for Mathematics and Statistics. And today we are going to discuss the chain rule. Chain rule is very important in calculus because when we are taking the derivative of complex functions, we need the chain rule to find the derivative. So let's start with the definition of chain rule. What is chain rule? In calculus, the chain rule is a formula for computing the derivatives of the composition of two or more functions. That is, if f and g are functions, then the chain rule expresses the derivative of their composition f multiplied by g. In terms of derivatives of f and g, the product of a function as follows. Suppose we have a complex functions f and g, f multiplied by g. So we take the derivative of the outside function multiplied by taking the derivative of the inside function. So this is the definition of chain rule and this definition will become more clear once we go over some examples. So let's start with our first example. So we have here y equals x square and y equals 2x plus 1 the whole square. So the very first question over here is do we, do we need the chain rule in these functions? So let's start with the first function x square. Do we need a chain rule in this? Well, we already know the derivative of x square. We can simply use the power rule in this function to find the derivative. So the answer is no. We do not need the chain rule to find a derivative of a function, which is simple. And we know we already know the derivative of the function. So this will become 2, taking the power in front, multiplied by x times 2 minus 1, which simply is 1. So the derivative of x squared becomes 2x. So this was an example in which we did not need the chain rule. Now we will look at the example in which we will need a chain rule. So let's look at the second example, 2x plus 1 whole square. So do we need a chain rule? Yes. And now why do we need the chain rule in this example? The answer is, we do not know the derivative of 2x plus 1 whole square. So we will need to break it down so that we can find the derivative of this function. So let's use the chain rule in this function. We find the derivative of the outside function by simply using the chain rule. So 2 multiplied by inner function. 2x plus 1. Multiplied by derivative of the inside function which is 2x plus 1. Which we can find which we do know because derivative of 2x becomes 2 and derivative of 1 because it's a constant becomes 0 so that's it this is the derivative of our complex function by using the chain rule we just want to clean up the function by multiplying 2 by 2 and then distributing it inside the 2x plus 1 so let's do that let's do that 4 multiplied by 2 times 2 becomes 4 and then it's 2x plus 1. And now we distribute 4 inside. So that becomes 8x plus 4 times 1 becomes 4. So this is a derivative using chain rule. So now let's look at some more examples to get more familiar with the chain rule. So let's look at the example some trigonometric functions. So we have here sine x cube. So do we need a chain rule in that? Well, we do because we do know the derivative of sine x, but we do not know the derivative of sine x cube. So we use the chain rule here again. 3 multiplied by sine x times, well, to the power of 3 minus 1 becomes 2. This is just simply using the chain rule. And once we find out the derivative of the inside, well, found the derivative of the outside function, now we can simply find the derivative of the inside function, which is sine x. So we know the derivative of sine x is simply cosine of x. Cosine of x. So this is how we again use the chain rule in a complex function. This was a trigonometric function. And we were able to find the derivative of a complex function using a chain rule. Let's look at one more example to get absolutely clear with the chain rule. 
this is natural log. So how do we find the derivative of a complex function in which we have a natural log? So we do know the derivative of natural log which is uh, denoted as ln. So the derivative of ln is 1 over x. But we do not know the derivative of ln to the power 4. In this case, let's break it down by simply finding the derivative of the outside function and then finding the derivative of inside function using the chain rule. 4 multiplied by ln to the power 4 minus 1 becomes 3. This is 3. Let's write it down more clearly. And derivative of inside function ln of x. This is ln of x. To make it more clear, this is ln of x, natural law of, of x, since we are differentiating in terms of x. So, na uh, derivative of natural log of x becomes simply 1 over x. That's it. So, this is how we find the derivatives of complex functions using the chain rule. We can apply this chain rule in finding even more complex functions in which we even have to use the derivative more, more than two times. So that's it. And uh, if you have any other questions, you can reach out to me at checktutors.com. And this is the URL for the check tutors. And this is the URL to message me. You can simply use this URL to message me and I will reply you back and I will be more than happy to help you out. So that's it for today and thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.